you the person who forgets to wear green on St. Patrick's Day and gets pinched, or the person who thinks about it all year long, this video series, running from February 1st, St. Bridget's Day, to March 17th, St. Patrick's Day, is to help you get fit on Irish history and culture. Recently, I've started to write an Irish historical fiction novel. I figured, why not share all the research that I've been doing? Thanks for tuning in. I'm Jeff Rosenzweig, pen name J. Rose, and I hope you enjoy the series. Dear Gwait, Morgan Llewellyn is my favorite historical fiction writer, bar none. She is absolutely phenomenal. I cannot imagine the amount of work and research that... Uh, that she must put into um, the novels that she writes, the historical novels, and she's just a very good writer. And she gives you the perspective from multiple points of view. She takes fictional characters and puts them in and has them meet real historical characters so that you get an inside view. You live these events um, through the eyes of different characters that don't all agree with one another. And so she acknowledges the complexity of history. And the most helpful to my novel um, has been uh, the series um, on Irish independence. Um, 1916 is the most important to what I'm writing. Um, also 1921 about the uh, Irish Civil War. Um, 1949, fabulous book. Two main characters in 1916. One is a Titanic survivor, um, and so she sets kind of the scene with something that a lot of people are familiar with. You get to meet, in, in the 1916 uprising, you get to meet these luminaries. Um, Tom Clark, who was kind of the George Washington. Patrick Henry Pierce, who probably you could call the Thomas Jefferson. Main character, Ned Halloran, is a student of Patrick Henry Pierce at his boys' school where he taught almost exclusively in Gaelic. Um, it was a big part of Irish nationalism to uh, bring back the Gaelic language. So Patrick Henry Pierce, one of the early proponents of, of speaking Irish, and one of the reasons that Ireland now is really considered a bilingual nation. The former priest that is the main character in my story was named Henry Pierce after Patrick Henry Pierce. And he feels the weight of this of this name. Having a famous name is uh, not always a plus. Um, it's uh, it's a huge kind of expectation to do great things, and he knows that he'll never do anything equal to what Patrick Henry Pierce did. And so it's very intimidating. It's actually um, kind of a scar to him. Just a a great author, Morgan Llewellyn. So, Slan.